welcome to Jermaine Unnatural. I am Jermaine Ryan. And, and I'm doing some body care around. Y'all know I like, you know, I'm into, you know, I do the whole package. So you're getting the whole shebang for me. All of it. I am going to actually be showing you some new products that I bought that were suggested by someone that I don't know, but just love. <laughs> you know, those type of people, you don't know them, you hear them all the time, you see them, and you just love them. <laughs> like, you know, they just give good energy and you trust what they say and do. So I'm going to be reviewing something, some, something for y'all to get nice and good and clean and fresh and moisturized with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That just sparks some curiosity. Before I get into what I'm going to do to get this all good and clean and moisturized, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do after I do that. So I'd like to first thank Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of the video. So Dossier takes your high-end luxe two, three, four hundred dollar cents fragrances, reproduces them for a fraction of the price, like $29 or $39, and gives you Excellent, excellent sense. Now why, why you would still continue to pay three, $200 for a cent when you can get the exact same thing for 29 or $39? I don't know, but who doesn't like saving some cash and still getting quality products? I do. You should too, and especially when it comes to scents. And Dossier is just the company that is going to provide that for you. Another good thing about buying things from Dossier is that they have an amazing return policy. So you get your scent, it comes in the mail, like you're all excited about it, like, ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> and then it comes and you spread and you're like, mm, we're not seeing eye to eye. Well, you can actually send the scent back within 30 days and you can get, you can either exchange it or you can get a full refund. So I'm talking about like you've used it and tried it and didn't like it, like open bottled. So not only reproducing high-end luxury fragrances, they are also a very conscious company. So their scents are vegan and cruelty-free. And when you order it, it is gonna come in this very nice recyclable box that very simply says Dossier. So once you pop that top, it says right there on the lid, iconic scents, designer quality, and no markups. So basically everything in the middle that you go through to get your scent is all eliminated. You don't pay, you're not paying the extra cost cost of, you know, gas money, going to the store, paying for just the name of whatever the scent is. Gone, gone, gone. Now when you get it, it does come with a very, very lovely card and helpful card that tells you all about the scent. This time around, I was feeling, you know, it's fall, so I was feeling apple-y. So I went with the citrus green apple. So with the citrus green apple, top notes are gonna be green apple, lime, and said rat and then the middle notes are bluebell jasmine and rose and then the base notes are amber cedarwood and musk now this scent is inspired by the Dolce and Dolce and Gabbana light blue for women you did toilet now as someone that is not restricted to just buying men's things sometimes I like to smell a little bit lighter a little bit more floral or sweeter so first opening the box you're definitely gonna get that burst of the green apple and the lime super light super just fruity and delicious smelling. And then after about the second hours where it kind of dries down until you get that jasmine and rose. And then about the third hour, I've got more of the amber and the cedarwood, not as much of the musk. Those were what I sent, what I smelled after. Now this is a fairly light scent. So I'm able to do this on both of my wrists and behind my ears. Those are your heat spots without it being too overpowering, even if I'm in a small space. So here's what you do. Make sure you click the link down below use my discount code so that you can save a little bit of change on some of your favorite scents at a fraction of the cost. And they have the full range, full spectrum, men's, women's, and unisex. So make sure you check out the link down below. And again, thank you for Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of the video. Now, before I spray this for the day, first I need to bathe. <laughs> Get in the tub. Unstanked is what I need to do. Well, I'm not really stanky. Yes, yes, you are. I just need to shower. Dirty now the brand that I am going to be showing you all today how it works comes from the friend zone and of course you know friend always be you know friend always be putting the good stuff out there you know her juju stuff uh, her woo woo stuff so <laughs> um, she has been talking about this brand for quite some time now and it is Zora Botanical Beauty so because she's been talking about it so much I'm like okay let me go ahead and check this I like friend is a trusted source so I went on to the site I went with the donkey milk because she's been talking about this donkey milk for forever. So I went with the donkey milk and chamomile soap. Beep. 
and the donkey milk and argan oil moisturizer. You have to say donkey milk, like donkey milk, for you to get the full effect of it being donkey milk that you're using. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go hop in the shower. Get in the towel! I'm gonna give you a voiceover talking about the benefits of donkey milk and the origins of donkey milk. All right, so let's go because I've got things to do today and I- Hey, in me. I'm in the shower and I am ready to go ahead, get into my soap, so. <laughs> As you can see, I have been using it. Of course, make sure you stay tuned to the end so I can talk about what both things said, did, and if there is anything that I need from them. All right, so I'm gonna be using my exfoliating gloves. And, and also, in case you don't know, is that when I use my, when I test my body things, I test it on everything that I bathe, so on just bare skin, with my gloves, and also with my puff. Okay, so let me go ahead and get y'all into this voiceover, a little bit about the brand, a little bit about donkey Milk. Now, before I get into all of the deets on donkey milk, first, let's start with the creator of Zora Botanical Beauty. Her name is Mercedes, Mercedes Etney, who is originally from the U.S. Virgin Islands, but now is based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mercedes, equipped with her bachelor's in chemical engineering and her master's in occupational health and safety, concentrating in environment management degrees, created Zora Botanical Beauty back in 2012 to help with her battle with eczema. And now Zora Botanical Beauty has expanded into covering all facets of the skin from face to bath to body. They even have products for men and they even have where you can do a skin consultation with Mercedes herself. Now let's get into this donkey milk. Having been around for thousands of years, it is now the new fetch ingredient to have. This very rare and very expensive ingredient is rich in vitamin E, a, B1, B6, C, D, E. It also has omega, omega, the omega-3 and 6 in it, and it's loaded with calcium. Donkey milk is also known to be extremely well with holding moisture. Health-wise, it has been linked to being very similar or close to human breast milk. And it has been reported that back in the day, like back, back, back in the day, it was sometimes substituted if the mother was unable to produce milk because of its similarity. In addition, it has been seen in some studies, and I will have some articles, not all of them, because it's a lot, but some studies linked down below in some articles where it has shown that, that it does not cause an allergetic reaction in those that, that are allergic to cow's milk. It also is said to be an anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it also has been seen to help with fighting type 2 diabetes. So the next time you're at your store, look for D for donkey under milk. Sometimes you may be able to find it under A for ass milk. <laughs> or another name for donkeys is J, Jenny's milk. So look for donkey ass Jenny milk at your local store. <laughs> fully bathed and now while my skin is still moist. moist I know people don't like the word moist I actually love it and I love to say it because I know people don't like it <laughs> um, so now that my skin is still really damp and moist, moist I'm gonna go ahead and apply the donkey milk and argan oil moisturizer comes out in small squirts but it is a nice good creamy lotion, moisturizer that does spread good. Um, one of the few times that I actually review a lotion can compare a lotion to a lotion consistency. <laughs> this would actually definitely be a normal to dry skin lotion just based on the creaminess, but it's somewhat thick at the same time. Love it. Now, if Fran sees this, if Fran sees this, or even Mercedes, who is the owner of Zora Beauty, maybe one of them can help to tell me this, but I am a person that counts everything. 
I know exactly how many squirts of the moisturizer it takes to cover my whole body. I count when I brush my teeth. I count when I go up and down my stairs in my house that I do every single day. Um, I count everything. Is there a name for that? Maybe somebody can tell me what that is. <laughs> for me in totality, it takes 25 pumps of the moisturizer to cover me from neck all the way down to the bottom of my feet. So that was 10, just for my upper half. And then I'm gonna do another 10 to do the rest. Now, this is not normally where I put all my lotion, but I have to go someplace. So this is all happening in the bathroom. <laughs> Today, it me. All right, I didn't come back end of the day. So uh, I actually end up going apple picking and then and look for that vlog to come. And then I end up going to eat after that. And I came home and I crashed straight to bed, okay? Don't judge me because I didn't baby. That's nasty. But if you do judge me, I don't care. <laughs> but the sheets have been changed nonetheless. So we're gonna talk about what they said, what they did, and if there's anything that I need from them. So, to start with that little sliver of soap, <laughs> the donkey milk and chamomile soap. <laughs> on the website, so there isn't a whole lot about it on the website. At the same time, it's soap, so you bathe. <laughs> we should all know how to do that, right? Like head to toe, we include our legs also? Yes. 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 So it does say that it is going to be nourishing. It does say that it is gentle. It does say that it is going to clean your skin. And it does say that the way that it's formulated to not be surprised if you don't get a whole bunch of suds from it. Number one, who would not want to bathe in the same thing that Cleopatra bathed in? Like who wouldn't be Cleopatra coming at you? The, the, the royalty of it, this, the, the prestige of doing something that Cleopatra has done. So number one, there, you start prestigious. Uh, as far as it being cleansing, definitely cleanse my skin. And with the chamomile scent in there and then the warmth of the donkey milk, it just created a real aromatic, warm, soothing feeling. And like I said, uh, using it with my gloves, as you saw, even using it with my when I used it with my puffs, I did get a really good lather from it. Um, when I just hit it on my hot spots, that's where I did see not as much bubbling happening. Now, what I would need from it kind of kind of goes into what made this soap interesting. Not as moisturizing for my skin, but it made my skin soft. So there were several times where you know I walked, took a bath at night, no lotion, woke up in the mor the next morning, or either bathed during the morning and didn't put any lotion on during the day like your skin looks a little dry it looked ashy but it was soft at the same time it was a little different i've never experienced that before my skin didn't feel like <laughs> what it looked like it had been through <laughs> okay get your elbows Hey, little Ash Wednesday on the elbows there. So that kind of ties into the ingredients. And as you all know that I, you know, try to be as natural as possible. And I do, and, and outside of my hair stuff, I do stay away from sulfates and a lot of like my everyday household things. There were three different type of sulfates that were in here. And I think that if those had not been in there, I think that I would have gotten a little bit more moisture for it. As we know, sulfates are, are deemed as being detergents and definitely more stronger cleaners than other things. So I think just without the sulfates, I think for me that would have made a much bigger difference with how my skin looked. And I think that it would have matched how it felt and would have had a little bit more moisture to it. But it wasn't bad overall. My skin didn't feel tight or itchy. It just looked dry. You look dusty. Even though it was a small bar, it didn't melt fast, so it was hearty. I liked it. I, I liked it overall, but you are definitely going to follow up with lotion. Speaking of, uh, we have the Donkey Milk and Argan Oil Moisturizer. So again, not a whole lot on this as far as what it says it's going to do, but it does say that it is going to be a dry skin's best friend. Listen, a nice, soothing, you know, soft uh, smell to it. So very, very nice on the nose. It applies really easily. It's about this much left in here. And this is all that I've been using since the middle of August. So don't let the size fool you. This lotion spreads very, very well. And you don't need a whole lot. Still, I do want to show you my skin. So if you can see, don't hurt yourself. What did Beyonce say? Don't hurt yourself. But as you can see, no scratch marks. <laughs> Bye, Ashley. Have a good night. Hold on. Hold on. Do, 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 do. But as you can see, nothing, right? Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh. All right. Uh. Okay, that was a small feat. <laughs> I didn't move the camera and everything. So yeah, at this point now it's well over 24 hours, but my skin is still super soft, still super moisturized. Love, love, love. So I love the uniqueness of the ingredient in our products. Make sure that you go down in the, de the description box. I'll have a link down there so that you can check out all of her products. And then Fran and both Asante, I believe Asante talked about the toner at one point in time. But the facial things is what I mostly heard them talk about. So definitely worth checking out. Um, plus it is, you know, like I said, a black ass business that they have put on their show and it's black women. So, you know, we have to support. So yeah, definitely make sure that you check her out. All right, well, leave comments down below. Let me know if you have used the donkey milk and chamomile soap or the donkey milk and argan oil moisturizer from Zora Botanical Beauty. Let me know how they worked out for you. All right, make sure that you like this video, press subscribe, it's a good time here, and I give you some of everything head to toe, top of your head to toe. Feel free to share this out as someone else may wanna know how the donkey milk soap and moisturizer works. Punch the notification bell so that you can stay pressed of when I share my videos. And again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine on Natural, and I'll see you in the next one.